What would happen if I completely broke Cuphead and made him an unkillable monster who could spam super? I knew beating the game would be no problem, but how fast could I do it? I decided to put on a timer and see just how long it would take to beat the game with the DLC and if it would be fast enough to place me in the top 10 on speedrun.com. Starting a new game file, skipping the first cutscene, mashing through the dialogue, and exiting to the map, I made my way to the first boss. Well, if you can even call the root pack a boss, they're kind of just like a bunch of toddlers. Showing off my absolute power, I spammed my EX attacks, taking down the potato, onion, and carrot in no time, putting the root pack in the dirt and heading to Ribby and Croak. It was more of the same, standing there as their attacks did absolutely nothing to me, and I blazed through their phases. I made my way to the first mausoleum, since I wanted to pick up the first super art. Pairing the ghosts, I was going to be spamming the super like no tomorrow, immediately equipping it and heading over to the DLC so I could pick up the astro cookie. The astro cookie was going to be important since it would give me access to Miss Chalice, which I was going to be taking advantage of in my run. Arriving at the goop troop, the super art spam began. This was going to be how most of the run looked, completely destroying his second phase and basically flying with Cuphead. Making it to Hildeberg, I changed to Miss Chalice because her super art in flying stages was way faster than Cuphead's since I could spam the impact of it doing insane damage super quickly. She was out of here in 30 seconds. Staying as Miss Chalice, I finished off Cagney Carnation and made my way to Isle 2. Just like that, in 10 minutes and 40 seconds, I was out of Isle 1. Unequipping the Astro Cookie, I started the fight with Baroness Von Trombon. He sends out Benson, dead. Next is Pac-Man, dead. Finally, Mr. Cupk, and he's dead. Once it came to hitting her, she was out in no time. It was time for Pepsi the Clown, a fight that always gave me some trouble. And I wasn't gonna give him a chance. Hitting him so many times with super arts that when phase two started, his head was completely gone. What the fuck? Huh? Where'd his head go? I literally couldn't do anything at this point, so I had to reset the fight. Realizing that maybe I shouldn't do too much damage at the start, I only hit him a couple times so he could enter phase 2, and from here I was good to spam. Finishing each phase super quickly, I managed to take him out before he could even bring out the baseball penguins. His contract was mine, making my way to Jimbo the Great. I re-equipped the Astro Cookie, starting the fight and spamming the missiles, hitting him so fast that the fight finished before he could even get to phase 2. Holy shit, Jimmy. I just Jimmy Johned all over you. Holy shit. Rushing towards Waldo, I switched over to Cuphead, since his super would be more convenient for hitting the third phase of the fight, which is Wally's kid. Blowing up over and over, the fight was done. I made my way to Grim Matchstick, a boss who, even after beating the game over 20 times, gives me trouble. Super, super, super. I finished Grim in no time. I was in aisle 3 in 21 minutes. This being the final aisle in the base game, this is going to be the most packed area. Entering Rumor Honeybottom's B Kingdom, I take out the security guy almost immediately, hitting her over and over and finishing her off before she can even transform into her plane mode. Captain Lamebeard was next. Nothing new here, I took him out in literally less than 40 seconds. Putting on the Astro Cookie again, Calamaria was next. And with Chalice's missile, I finished the fight before she could even enter her second phase. Next was Sally. Super, 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 super. And she was done for. Looks like the play's over, Sally. I made my way down to Tom and Jerry, the next boss I had on my list. I was doing so much damage so fast, but I I somehow ended up turning around mid-air, completely missing one of my supers, which costed me some time. Either way, I blazed him down, getting to Dr. Kyle's robot, where I was going to be using Chalice Missile once again. The fight was so fast, I ended up breaking the robot faster than Dr. Kyle spent turning it on. Next was Choo Choo Soul, taking off Astro Cookie and beginning the Ghost Train fight. Eyeball Ghost down, Spooky Scary Skeleton down, Shower Heads down, Train Dog down. The Ghost Express was done. Finally arriving at King Dice, I made sure to only hit threes on the dice, taking care of the Cigar, Rabbit, and Roulette before being able to fight the Dice Meister, who I took out super quickly. It was time for the final main game boss, the Devil. Declining his offer, I destroyed him, quickly getting him to jump out of his skin into the pit. But as I followed, oh what? Am I stuck? Oh my. Uh, yeah, the game glitched, so I had to restart the fight. This time, I decided to take it a little slower, getting him to jump into the pit once more, and... No, not again. Damn it. Yeah, it happened again, so I restarted the fight once more. But you know what they say, third time's the charm. Taking the fight as carefully as possible to make sure he didn't glitch, it worked out and I managed to follow behind him, taking him down for good. Yeah, yeah, that's what you get for glitching me twice, you, you, you big red jerk. The run wasn't done. Going back into my save, it was time to head to aisle 4. Dang it, I pressed aisle 1. 
getting to DLC Island, the first boss to fight was the Bug Gang. Super, 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 super. Beating the bugs, I made my way to the Wild West. Jesus, I really said West. Let's redo that. Beating the bugs, I made my way to the Wild West, using Chalice Missile to finish the fight quickly. Chalice also took care of the dog pack. Starting the fight with Mortimer, I beat him before the snowman could even burst. Giant Mountain Man was no different. Let me get in that mouth of yours. Aw, oh, yeah. He was done. All I had left was Salt Baker. He's done. That's time, 53 minutes and 35 seconds. I gotta be at least 7th place in the world after that. Oh, what the? Wait, I would be number 40 in the world? Top 40 in the world, baby! Thanks for Hell watching. Yeah. Uh, oh, like yeah, and subscribe. I'm working oh, on some yeah. big projects. Hey. I'll oh, see you. Yeah.